guys, it's Jay here. Um, time for a beverage and dollies. I just wanted to chit chat for a little bit and I had some time. Uh, today I am just drinking plain old water. No cocktails today. I've been a little sick, so um, no booze for a while until I get that figured out. I mostly want to talk about Mitsu here. You'll notice that Mitsu has a new face. Yes! I redid him this weekend and I just wanted to, you know, do a video, show him off a little bit because I'm really happy with this. I mean, the first one I did, I didn't really care. I think I just did it so we wouldn't be blank anymore and I didn't try. This one, I went all out. All out and it shows. Um, honestly, this is probably some of the best line work I've ever done on a doll. <laughs> to the point where like, I made this post on Instagram and I was like, Hi, yes, this is the best line work I've ever done, BRB, patting myself on the back. And it was just a picture of it. I'm only a little ashamed. <laughs> but yeah, he looks, he looks right now. He looks perfect. I am so happy. Also, look at these manly brows. Look at them. Uh, also, also, I didn't use any pearl powder this time because I got a little spooked. I didn't want him to look like a disco ball again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Here he eels. He's wearing these star pants we got and a star sweater that shows off his moves a little bit. And he looks perfectly cranky. What really kind of sucked about doing this face up is uh, I got a little heavy with the spray um, probably on the second layer. Yeah, because it was the layer I was doing the rest of the blushing because I always block out the eyebrows first because I have such a hard time with them and I uh, don't want to, you know, mess up anything else trying to deal with the, the eyebrows. And it got, like, you know what happens when you spray too heavy, you get little drippies that just fuck everything else up. Uh, so I did something that you're technically not supposed to do. I wiped, like, the bottom half of his face. <laughs> I can hear the heart attacks now from anybody who's ever done face-ups. Yeah, so I wiped like the bottom half of his face and then resealed him twice. And you can't really tell that I did that. There's a few places where I got some flakies, um, but I've been able to wipe them off and it seems to be holding just fine. So, uh, experiment successful. Although I really wouldn't recommend doing it. I was not sure that was gonna come out at all. Uh, I think I was probably just lucky. Um, I was also kind of in a rush to finish him because we were going to have a bunch of weather. I'm just happy he's done. Uh, I just want to take good pictures of him now. So that's my meet you. He's going to hang out while I just chat about other stuff though. Um, we placed a order with Tata's Paradise like a month or two ago it's probably only been a month but you know time goes by so slowly in bjd land and chronically space told me it shipped on the 21st so maybe in another month it will get here because we were cheap and airmail's fine for us but um in that package i got new clothes for shimo who is my senior Del Furiel. He's just been kind of sitting around. Never been real happy with what I did with him or with the outfit I bought that I had to like rip the sleeves off of it to get on him. And I don't remember that outfit being cheap. <laughs> so he, I've just been kind of like meh about him, but you know, since I did Cupcake and I did Mitsu, I want to redo, um, my boy Shimo and give him an, you know, a fresh face up, one that I put more care and time into, much like this. I think I've been emboldened by like how I managed to get my lines to come out on Mitsu here. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I haven't quite decided what look I want for him face and hair wise, because I want to get him a new wig too. Um, his new clothes are more modern, mo I forgot how to English. His new clothes are more modern and darker because obviously I have an aesthetic, I guess. I mean, 
I barely have any color in my own wardrobe. Why would I have more color in my doll's wardrobe? I think Nancy's the exception. I specifically was like, I need to find stuff for this boy that isn't black. Anyway, I don't exactly remember what all I got him. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got him some new shoes too to complete the outfit, but so that part is figured out. Um, I just don't know what I want to do face up wise or hair wise. I keep waffling between like this wig from Leak World that's super long and it's like white, blue, and slashed with uh, their natural black color. It looks really pretty, but I don't know if I want to put him in a super long wig again because that's what I did when I first got him and it didn't really do him any favors. Like the way it sat was weird and I wasn't, I wasn't happy with it. Like when I first bought him, I was thinking like Ice Wizard, but in practice it just didn't, it didn't work. Everybody was doing blue dolls back then. I, of course I did too. But I'll figure it out. Uh, I did look at Lutz today and kind of had a dumb moment where I was like, I specifically was looking at in-stock stuff on Denver dolls so I wouldn't have to pay for shipping from Korea. And then I looked at Lutz and saw like a certain style of wig that I loved. And I'm like, oh shit, now I'm gonna have to pay shipping from Korea. Cause I'm pretty, pretty closely, like pretty close to sold on this wig. And it's a nice cherry red color. Like, oh, my hair's too faded to compare right now. It's kind of a darker crimson color. It's really pretty and I like the, the cut of it, but oh, shipping from Korea. We'll see. I'll, I'll stop waffling eventually. I just know I need to figure out the wig before I can do his face so, you know, I can do correct eyebrows, which will forever be the bane of my existence. Other than that, I do want to try putting an eye in the project head I bought a while back. I think I mentioned it, the Clover doll head. That boy has some thick, forehead resin so it's perfect for what I want to do. I just need to get the right tools. Um, I was reading in all the workshop threads and someone suggested someone suggested using jewelers files to open eyes because it gives you like greater control and I feel like that's something I would benefit from just because I don't have great control with exacto knives um, as I've learned modding um scourge and cupcake like i feel like i'll have it for a little bit and then off it goes so uh i found a pretty decently priced set on amazon i just need to you know buy it and then stop being a wuss and go to work so i know these are usually a lot longer than this but i'm pretty much out of stuff to talk about i just wanted to you know show off mitsu and ramble about future plans that I'll hopefully get to mess with soon. Um, I mean, there's not a lot happening for me, personally. I'm just like, systemically going through my dolls and improving them, because I think after I do Shimo's glow up, it's gonna be Lewis's turn. And I've never been quite happy with um, the body I've got him on, but I think part of that might be because of the shirt I bought for him and I don't know. I'll have to start looking into more clothes for him so maybe I can start feeling better about him again. Also, probably a new wig too. You get a wig, you get a wig. Everybody gets a wig! Like we don't have a big bag of them that we meant to sell at one point. But yeah, anyways, that's what's going on with me. I hope everyone out there is well and enjoying their dollies and I will see you guys next time.